The love that Sigma INFJs feel is intense. It is understandable why everyone believes they would make the perfect couple. But when they're finished, they'll leave like they never loved you. Here are 10 ways an INFJ Sigma lets you know they're over you. Number 10, they won't make an effort to refute you anymore. The Sigma INFJ is hopeful for a solution as long as they argue. For the duration of their attempt to make a discussion point, it shows they are still invested in the relationship, so you won't need to worry. What if, though, they don't? What if they simply leave you alone to say anything you want? It can only suggest that they are no longer hoping for a solution. Sigma INFJs are astute enough to anticipate the direction a relationship will go. When they feel that their spouse is working with them to find the solution, they won't think twice about going all in. Yet, they tend to back off when they sense that their spouse is just arguing for the sake of it. They realize that a talk about their feelings won't escalate into a heated dispute if it's pure love. True love listens, embraces, affirms, and empathizes rather than leaving them feeling constantly ignored, misunderstood, and misjudged. And if you don't fit these requirements, you will never again enter the life of a Sigma-Eyed NFJ. Number 9. Even if it is not what you want to hear, they will tell you the truth. Sigma INFJs won't have to pretend to have patience and resilience once they're done with you. They will address ending your relationship with you in depth in a conversation with you. If there is a friendship or romantic connection, Sigma INFJs will be honest about their thoughts and opinions. They won't dodge the issue or give you false hope. Instead, they'll come right out and admit that they've had a number of negative experiences with you and that they believe remaining won't make any of them better. The truth is that even when Sigma INFJs break up with someone, they still give a damn. The most important thing they can tell someone is the fact that it's over, even though they understand that it's difficult to unlove someone they truly love. How do people typically respond when you bring them into these conversations? as a Sigma INFJ. Number eight, to preserve their energy, they won't pay attention to anything you say. Given how much they care about you, the Sigma INFJ tends to make everything you say and do count. As devoted creatures, the Sigma INFJ is expected to care deeply about how you feel and to put a lot of passion into the connection. But what does it imply when they start to dismiss everything you do and say? That indicates that they are gradually defending their energy from yours. They are beginning to distinguish between your influence and their power. Regardless of how nasty your insults are, they will continue to be unpersuaded and uninterested because they gradually come to disregard your viewpoint. Since you don't share their comfort level with vulnerability, according to Sigma INFJs, there is no reason for them to stay. Number seven, they won't trust you as much as they once did. When the INFJ Sigma is moving on from a relationship, they will develop an unrepentant sense of suspicion and skepticism of everything. When they find one lie among thousands of truths, it is true. No matter how credible the rest seem, they will be questioned as well. They won't feel bad about it because trust won't be there anymore. They think you should earn their confidence, so why would they believe you if they trust their instincts more than you? A Sigma INFJ will frequently spot deceit even in the absence of cues thanks to their intuitive insights. They are able to achieve this because of their remarkable capacity for recognizing dishonesty and unease through instinct. They will be able to tell when someone is lying and being inconsistent. Hence, avoid saying things that go against what you said in the past since you will inevitably lose them. Do you still believe people who have lied to you in the past, as a Sigma INFJ? Number six, they will stop defending your actions. Sigma INFJs have a tendency to explain away other people's actions, especially when they love and trust them so deeply. They frequently act as their partner's spokesperson in the hopes that they may work out their issues as a couple. Yet the favor also expires when they're ultimately done with it. 
If you become their partner, they will stop defending you and ignoring your transgressions. They'll quit making excuses for your serious predicament. If they believe that your poor decision was caused by irresponsible behavior, they will say as much, no matter how it could make you feel. Number five, they let the appropriate words get through. Sigma INFJs tend to speak last simply because it is the most practical thing to say at that specific time. For no other reason than that lying is simpler than losing the person they love. They are unlikely to sugarcoat the truth. Instead, they let the precise words that describe their feelings come through. They will speak their minds honestly, even though it took them some time to gather their thoughts and make a decision. They'll allow themselves to be. Sigma INFJs know better than others who are tempted to restate how to tell someone it's over and filter the most crucial points they should make. They allowed silence and the appropriate words to emerge at the appropriate time. This necessitates a straightforward admission that I'm not sure how to end things without hurting you. Even if it means hurting the person they care about the most, Sigma INFJs will stop at nothing to receive the love they deserve. Is it truly simple for a Sigma INFJ to allow the proper words come through? Number four, they'll start taking care of their own affairs. As the Sigma INFJ starts to care less, you will know they are done with you or never at all about your private matters. The less they inquire about your day, the less they appear to care about you as a person. You might have become weary of the Sigma INFJ's incessant probing of your thoughts, ideas, or mental processes, but they will inevitably come to an end. And when that time comes, they won't be asking anymore, simply because they have lost interest. INFJs with a Sigma personality type don't mind quitting a brief relationship because they forge their own paths and march to their own rhythm. They aren't interested in influencing people's perceptions because doing so isn't really their responsibility. The world's divergent viewpoints on everything are no longer under their control. From from point on, only their progress, internal effort, and purpose will matter. Number three, even if it means being by themselves, they will demonstrate to you how content they are without you. When the Sigma INFJ would prefer have no one to talk to than you, you'll know they're finally over you. As they go forward on their journey to recovery and self-discovery, their mental state will alter, enabling them to see that they never intended to require unimportant company. They understand that being alone yourself is preferable to being with unreliable friends. Once they are used to their silence and solitude, they won't be a part of your life or anybody else's. They won't make an effort to catch up with you or make amends any longer. They are attempting to establish more rigid limits in your relationship until they are able to move on entirely, which may come out as unpleasant. So, you might wish to start accepting their decisions when this occurs. Take it in and then leave it behind. Have you already discovered someone you feel comfortable being alone with as an INFJ Sigma? Number two, they'll need a lot of time alone. Sigma INFJs occasionally seek out solitude. That could last anywhere from a few hours to days. But if they start to require more time apart than they used to, it can be a sign that your relationship is over. It's not a good indication for Sigma INFJs to seek out extended solitude because it indicates that you are now a source of distress rather than vitality. It implies that you are no longer their safe haven or comfortable place and are instead a challenge they must overcome. The regular ups and downs of a relationship and deal breakers can be distinguished by Sigma INFJs. When people notice that you are no longer making mistakes but rather exhibiting a pattern of abusive tendencies and toxicity, they will give up. Sigma INFJs are forgiving, not hypocrisy and misconduct with intent. So when they become worn out playing your nasty games, they will grow apart from you to demonstrate that you no longer play a vital role in their lives. Number one, they will grow more alienated and unconcerned than ever. When Sigma INFJs have had enough of you, for them, everything will make sense. 
because they shouldn't feel less valuable than they actually are since true love shouldn't do that. If they are with someone they deserve, they will realize it. They will never be too perceptive, intelligent, sentimental, or excessive. So when they're finished with you, they'll demonstrate that your disdain and abuse won't surprise them any longer. They may continue their journey without you because of their independence and emotionally detached attitude. They don't require support from anyone, regardless of how difficult life may be. They are considerably more driven to accomplish their seemingly unattainable ambitions when they are alone. It motivates people to put in more effort in order to improve and reach their highest potential. They must have more self-confidence the more autonomously they must complete tasks. They skyrocket higher the more you damage them. The Sigma can emotional detachment help you move on more readily. INFJ. Nobody ever wants to go through heartache. Not even the most emotionally indifferent person. But because their long-term stability is more important than their short-term desires, Sigma INFJs prioritize their healing above all else. How else may a Sigma INFJ communicate that they are through with someone? What is their typical response to your sudden decision? 